What's up guys, Shane here from Ducadec 3D Printing and today we're gonna 3D print a battery holder. So I've been looking for like the ultimate battery holder for a long time and I've printed several different ones for my desktop, for on my desk, but they just, I don't know, they're all small, they're individual ones. I never found anything that was good or just like one that would do everything that I wanted it to do. Until I stumbled upon this model. Now I found this over on my mini factory and it cost me $1.50 to make. So I thought it was a pretty awesome model. It's actually the second version that the, uh, that the creator did. The first version had C batteries in the bottom, but this has three trays for double A's and two trays for triple A's, which I go through a lot of. We have a lot of kid toys around the house, so they drain through batteries like crazy. And this is honestly a super duper easy print to do. Uh, I printed this on my Prusa i3 Mark III and my Prusa i3 Mark III clone. Uh, it was, again, very easy to do because it's technically four parts, but it's really three different prints. Now, before we glue this up and get it assembled, I wanna do a quick thank you out to Repco. So I've been working Repco for a long time. They've sent me filaments here and there to do projects. They've sponsored a lot of my different giveaways. It's been pretty awesome. People got some good filaments from them. Uh, but I randomly got a box from Michael, who is the CEO of Repco, literally just out of the blue, didn't get an email from him, had nothing, just a random box of some PLA. So I knew I wanted to print this project, so I wanted to go ahead and print this all in the Repco PLA. I printed this with their white and their red, and this is kind of like a more milky white, and the red is a little bit translucent. You can definitely see light and things through it. And I also did this in the brand new Prusa Slicer 2.0, which I'm gonna do a video very soon on kind of just the first look at it and how I set all this print up in that slicer, because again, it's just a little bit different than the original or the older version of Slicer Prusa Edition or Slick 3R, as Tom says. So yes, a very special thank you out to Repco, and I'll put a link down to their filament down below if you guys wanna check it out. And oh, this is also in PLA. Uh, I'm a big fan of PLA filaments, so if you wanna check out their filament, I'll put a link down below, or any of the printers that I use, there'll be also those links down. But let's get this assembled and see how well it works. All right, so this prints out in, again, basically four parts. There's a tiny part here. This is one print. This is the back plate, and this is the main body. Now, the back plate, this was printed on the Prusa i3 Mark III clone, and it was in their semi-transparent, or translucent PLA, red PLA. I did use a little bit of glue stick to keep that down, so there's a little bit of residue of that. I'll get like a wet paper towel or something, wipe all that off. And again, this was in their white on the original Prusa i3 Mark III. Uh, also has the MMU2, but this is just with the single settings on there. And here you can see the indention in the front, which is where our little battery thing is gonna get glued into. And I actually just had to print this again because this piece, uh, as I had this dry fit on my desk just to kind of look at it. And when I picked it up, that piece, this all slid off and that piece went woo somewhere into the nether. So don't know where that one went. So we're not gonna lose that again. And again, this holds one, two, three double A trays, and then one, two of triple A's. And I'm really curious to see how this actually will hold down. And there is actually a lip here to kind of really help you line it up nice and easily. You see how it fits right into it all along the side there and down here where it changes over. So what we're gonna do is in order to glue this up, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Bob Smith Industries, BSI, Insecure, and I'm gonna go ahead, ins Insecure, Instacure, and some Bob Smith Industries Insta Set. So I'm gonna put the glue in the grooves on here. I'm gonna spray onto the body, and then I would just take the body, set it down into there, and it will instantly uh, set up for us. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a little bit of glue here. And we don't need a whole ton, but make sure there's enough in there. Just a little bit of little squeeze in there into each one of these. And then we need to put a little bit along here. Just tiny, tiny squeeze of it. And that should be all we need in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the Insta set. Make sure it's all coated. And we're just going to try to not glue myself to myself, which I've already started to. And stick it together as quickly as possible. And then that is done. That's not coming off at all. And again, with the Insta set, that stuff sets really, really quickly. So here again, we're gonna go ahead and put the little bit of glue just in a couple piece parts here. Make sure it stays a little bit in the top there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray 
this back side. And this just drops right into here. Again, that basically instantly uh, sets, hence the name Insta Set. And then we have the top piece, which goes in there just like that. And that's it. Super quick and easy. You know, three parts to glue together, four if you include the body, but you're just adding three parts to the body and those aren't gonna go anywhere. So you do wanna allow this, you know, maybe just a minute or two to finish setting because you don't wanna rub your hands on it and then all of a sudden it glues to you. So, and uh, let me grab some batteries and we can take a look at this real quick. All right, so I went and grabbed some Amazon Basics batteries. I buy this in bulk because they're cheap and they last long enough for all the kids' toys. And if you look, we're just gonna set them, just drop them right in. I take one, next one comes down, next one comes down. I like it. I'll do some double A's. Yeah, there it is. So you can see they're in there. Can't see them from the top unless I put a whole bunch in there, which we could do real quick. All right, and here it is with a whole bunch of batteries in it. If I tilt it, they're all gonna uh, move. But you can kind of see down in there, see where they are. So there's holds eight in the front. I think this one holds 12. So you get like 20 or 22 triple A's. And it's like 30 or some ridiculous amount of double A's, which this, this is gonna be awesome on my desk. I think this will really, really help uh, keep them organized and the kids can just come up, take one, and boom, the next one is presented. They all slide really well. There's two packs in each one of these. So they easily slide down with the next one. So that's pretty slick. So I think this is a win. So this will be on my desk. This will be able to hold lots of different batteries. Kids can come in, grab what they need, and off to the races and they can get their own batteries because dead life. It, there's a lot of things that need replaced all the time. But yeah, I'm excited for this. It'll help me stay a lot more organized and help keep them out and around instead of in a drawer somewhere. So super awesome for this. Again, if you want to purchase this, I'll put a link down below. Uh, the file was $1.50 on my mini factory and I actually really, really like it. Uh, or if you want to try to design your own kind of based on his, you could do that as well. But yeah, this again, this is second version. The first version has C's at the bottom, which uh, not many things use. So that's why he did reinvent it to add more double A's. So awesome job. I like it. And again, one more time, thank you to Repco for sending me the filament. There's lots more projects coming up that I'll be using their filament for. So stay tuned for some of those. Thanks for watching guys. So if you want to stay in tune with what's going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon. You'll get an email notification or push notification mode device when I upload new content or I go live. That way you're the first ones to know what's going on here on my channel. If you want to support me, become a patron. Donate me a dollar more, get your access Patreon feed and my after show. Donate me $2, you get a sticker. There's a couple other tiers down there, so check that out. There's some one-time links down below, and there's also a bunch of affiliate links down there for where you can purchase some of the things that I use in my videos. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, happy printing.